Good morning and welcome to our Daily Word and Prayer. My name is Tom Short. So glad to have you along on this Friday morning. Actually, I'm coming to you the night before because I'll be on a plane as you're watching the live stream, flying home uh, from my week in Florida at the University of Florida where, well, I have a promise to share with you. And it's a promise I claim and we believe, and I believe deep in my heart. It comes from 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 58. It simply says this, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord. This is something you and I should know. That when we serve the Lord and do things and put forth the work of advancing the kingdom, of building up one another, of doing good things in the name of our Lord, of letting our light shine, that we should know that God sees that. And there is a reward. There's There's a reward for our faithfulness. There's a reward for putting him first. Sometimes we can wonder if there is. Sometimes it takes a while in life before we see that reward. Sometimes become quite evident ahead of time. Sometimes we don't see it until we get to eternity. But never forget, how do we know there's a reward? Well, 1 Corinthians 15 talks about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And Jesus did indeed rise from the dead. This is the good news. It is real. We're going to soon be upon the Easter Easter season. And we will celebrate once again the resurrection of Jesus. Well, we celebrate it every day. But the world will remember that a man conquered death. Up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph over his foes. He arose victorious from the dark domain and he lives forever with his saints to reign. That's you and me. We reign with our Lord Jesus Christ because he arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. I hope that you're involved in the work of the Lord. I've had a great week here in Florida. It's late now. I'm, I'm going to catch a plane in about four hours. I'm hoping to get a little bit of sleep before then. But God bless you. And I want to remind you of that, that your labor is not in vain. I know mine isn't either. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. I want to encourage you with that today. Short message today, but I wanted to pass this on and I hope you enjoy it. God, we thank you and bless you. We love you and worship you. We thank you that you are the true and living God. Thank you, nothing escapes your notice. Oh, Father, we live in a world that often has chaos, pain. So many people, Lord, are hurting. We thank you that you give us healing and victory in the name of Jesus. Help us, Father, to realize that all around us are opportunities to help people in need, to reach out to the lost. Such a needy, needy world. I pray, Father, today in Jesus' name, help us remember that because we're in Christ, because Jesus, you have risen from the dead, because the gospel is our hope, that our labor, our toil is not in vain. And so I pray, Father, that every one of us would be steadfast today, immovable. Nothing would move us away from our faithfulness and our faith in Jesus Christ. Steadfast, immovable always abounding in the work of the Lord. I pray that for us today. Lord, I want to ask for the people who come, my brothers and sisters who come on this live stream day after day. I pray, Father, that we be people who abound in the work of the Lord. We're asking you to transform us. We're asking you, Lord, to fill us with hope. We're asking you, Lord, to encourage us. We're asking you, Lord, to let our light shine. I pray, Father, that we each of us would be filled with the joy of the Lord, a contagious joy, an inspirational joy, a joy that, that, that makes others thirsty for the life we have in Christ. Help us, Father, to be living examples. Help us to be strong in the Lord. Help us to be exulting in the Lord. Help us to be filled with your Spirit. And that today, wherever we go and whatever we do, We would abound in the work of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, the peace of the Lord. This would be ours to have, to experience, and to share with others. We pray for this, that we would live this way for your glory. Inspire us. Empower us. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. And amen. Hey, thank you for being with me today. It's a shorter message, as I said earlier. We're usually here, but we're here every day at 8.30 a.m. Why? Because we believe we need to be in the Word of God together. I have found many people don't read their Bible every day. And I found many other people who do read it. It's not very meaningful. It's, it's not an exciting, time, inspiring, edifying time for them. And if you're having trouble getting the daily feeding of God's word so that you're strong, triumphant, victorious, join us every day. It'll make a difference. You get in the word of God every day. And don't make a difference. So many people that I, as I travel about, so many people thank me for this time. They say it means so much to them. It could mean that for you too. It could build you and strengthen you, encourage you, inspire you. That's what I'm hoping for and praying for. And I know it's working. I know it's happening. So make sure if you're new, subscribe, hit the notify button, come back day by day. Join us, share with your friends, be a part of this growing community of people who are saying, I want to get in the word of God daily. It's not enough every week. I want it daily so my soul becomes strong in the Lord. These are days we need to be strong, steadfast, immovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord. So I hope you will join me. And until we meet tomorrow, might God's peace fill you, might his face shine upon you, and might he fill you with his joy. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.